Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are party prepping for Jack's first birthday. Since he isn't going to remember this party, and since we were also planning on celebrating my birthday, I thought I would make it a little easier on myself by reusing a lot of the supplies from Aubrey's construction-themed birthday party from when she turned three. If you want to check out those party prep videos, I will link them up above for your convenience. In the past, I've split up my party prep videos into multiple parts because I usually do a lot, but this time I thought I would put everything in one video, hence the super long video. Let me know down below in the comments which style you prefer, a longer video covering everything or individual videos that cover the food, the activities, and the decorations. So one of the new decorations that I did for this party was my glass board art. Just like for Aubrey's frozen party, I cut out a large image on multiple sheets of wood grain contact paper using my Cricut, and then colored over top using a Sharpie. I could have used black vinyl, but I'm super cheap and didn't want to use a lot of expensive materials for a one-day event. I ended up using an orange whiteboard marker to add some color to the board and smoothed out some of the design with a black marker too. Next up, we are setting up the table under the glass board. Here, I'm using the DIY Willow table skirt that I made for my Halloween party a few months ago. Making one of these takes a bit of time, but I love the final look. So I wanted to make sure that I got at least one more use out of it, and since the black and orange fit the color scheme of this party, I figured now was the perfect time to break it out. If you want to see how I made this table skirt using around six plastic table covers, feel free to check out the video I've linked up above. So 
so I've been relatively bad about documenting Jack's milestones, but I have been somewhat consistent with taking his monthly photos. So I decided to make a little decoration displaying Jack's photos to hang outside his bedroom so people could admire them on their way to our restroom. It's hard to find the reason why you stay by my side You and I break our hearts open in half Just to see if I will put them back No matter what they try, I'll stay by your side It's you and I I love the way this turned out and hope to make something similar using Aubrey's monthly photos if I ever get around to it. So for this party, I didn't go crazy with activities or games, but I did want to do something. So I thought a little how well do you know Jack game would be fun. Almost all of the answers have been shared on this YouTube channel. So the friends or family members who watch Lima Bean Living shouldn't have had to guess if their memories serve them well. For the prize, I picked up a holiday hot cocoa bomb kit on clearance at Walmart after Christmas, and I thought I would have it fit the theme by passing it as a wrecking ball kit. Everyone seemed to enjoy the game, and it was a good way for me to reflect on Jack's milestones throughout his first year. In addition to this kit, I also purchased a pre-built gingerbread house on clearance. I thought it would make for a fun construction type activity for the kids to do. Most of these holiday kits are good for at least a year, so in my opinion, it's definitely worth picking up at least one after the holidays, whether you are throwing a construction party or just want to have one on hand for the next Christmas season. Next up, we are making the goodie bags for the kids who attended. To easily make the bags fit the theme, I drew lines on them to make them look like a street. To fill the bags, I actually had a lot of construction tattoos and stickers left over from Aubrey's third birthday party. So I put these in along with some pullback cars from Walmart and lots of candy. I wasn't sure exactly how many kids would actually end up coming, so I made a lot of bags, but I figured better have more than enough than not enough. You made a promise, I kept it Now I'm second guessing My whole world has shifted again Now I drive back to an empty home And it's set it in Now that your things are gone What have I done? Was everything worth this? I guess I deserve this 
For the balloon arch, I didn't buy any special Amazon balloon kit. I just made sure to pick up some Dollar Tree balloons around Halloween time so that I would have the balloons that fit the color scheme of the party. I made the arch a couple days in advance and saved a few balloons for any last minute fixes or additions. Let me know how you like the final look down below in the comments. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us To finish off my dessert and treat table, I added some confetti from Jack's gender reveal party. Not only did it match the theme, but it kind of is extra special that we got to reuse this confetti to celebrate Jack's first birthday too. So moving on to the food, we are starting off by prepping some mini traffic lights using small pretzel sticks, white chocolate, and mini M&Ms. For Aubrey's third birthday, I made these with pretzel rods and regular M&Ms, and they weren't too popular, I think because they were just really big. But these smaller snacks definitely were a hit. Several times It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with than without you to me I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy tale You don't need a killer dragon for me Still 
whatever it is, I keep on trying. Cause it ain't hard to forgive. When you know what it's like, that's why I'm better with than without you. to me I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy tale You don't need a kiss Drag on for me So for the themed cake, I thought I would make a six layered, six inch diameter carrot cake. This is a recipe I've shared a number of times on this channel, so if you want the recipe, feel free to check out the video I've linked up above. Had a feeling we had something Could have seen it in your eyes Took a second, but am I here Waiting for you with open arms How about you coming close so we can do my place Maybe we can try Meeting up by seven You'll be saying oh, over so it's guaranteed I'll be forever thinking about you and me I don't wanna let you go I don't wanna let you go nah. Tell me what you want to know Run your fingers down me slow
For the exterior, I planned on doing some white and yellow stripes using a cake tool that I was gifted at Christmas and an orange drip. This was my first time making stripes on a cake this way and it definitely didn't go as smoothly as I anticipated, but overall I do like the final look. More importantly though, everyone loved the taste of the cake.
Next up, we are making spare tire brownies using a mini silicone donut mold. I made these for Aubrey's construction party and they were a hit. This time around, they were also gobbled up. I probably should have made two boxes worth, but since I only have one silicone mold in each size, it takes a long time to make them. After baking, I freeze the brownies in their mold to make them easier to remove. Then I scrape off any lingering bits off the mold and bake another tray. One good thing about this treat is that this prep can be done weeks before the party if necessary to save time and the brownies can be stored in the freezer until just before the start of the party. Because they are small, they defrost rather quickly and are definitely delicious. Moving on, we are making a tres leches cake using the recipe I've shared in the past. I decided to make this cake because we were expecting a lot of people at the party and I thought it would be nice to have a choice in the cake. The carrot cake is definitely sweeter, but this cake is a much more refreshing and light cake. A lot of my family has never tried tres leches before, so Jack's party was their first time giving it a try. I got a lot of positive feedback, and some of my family even said that this is their new favorite cake. I made this the day before the party and refrigerated it overnight. The next morning, I made the whipped topping and covered it in raspberries and blueberries. I originally wanted to top it with strawberries, but none of the strawberries at the grocery store looked good. In the end, it really didn't matter. Everyone who tried it loved it. The day before the party, I also cut up the lettuce and stored it in a container filled with water, and I cut up the olives and cooked and seasoned the ground beef for our nacho bar. My plan was to reheat the meat in a crock pot during the party. This ended up being much less stressful than trying to cook all of the meat right before or during the party. Don't blink, 
Everyone's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Getting these voices inside to stay quiet Gone to the place where all this began To start again Oh, you won't see the light until the dawn breaks No, till it's all said and done You won't know what it takes Gotta make a Finally, we are going to finish setting up for the party and add some final touches.
Last minute, I also whipped up some homemade guacamole. Because I am a wimp, this guac is not spicy at all, but it definitely is delicious and was completely consumed. Everything added is to taste, so I don't have a specific measurement for each ingredient for you, but if I ever get around to figuring out exactly how much I use to get it just right, I will definitely share those measurements with you. It don't matter where we go It don't matter where we stay tonight Cause when I'm with you, yeah I know Everything will be alright It don't matter what we say It don't matter how we make things right Cause when I'm with you, yeah I know Everything will be For outside decorations, we just use black table covers with some yellow stripes taped on to make the tables look like roads. I had intended on doing some DIY chalk paint street lines all over our backyard walkway, but it was very rainy leading up to the party and I figured that was just God's way of telling me to take it easy. So I cut myself some slack and didn't do that extra decoration. Another decoration that I didn't end up doing was my near art in the bathroom. I thought it would have been cute to draw a stop sign and write stop growing up on the mirror, but I thought of that idea last minute and I didn't have enough time to do that on top of everything else that had to be done closer to the party. Nevertheless, I think the party turned out great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. 
And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.